Uh, what was the total of those three different periods of incarceration? $15,190. More than $15,000. That's the tab for Kwame Kilpatrick's 14-month stay in Michigan's Department of Corrections. It includes room and board, along with increased security costs for the high-profile inmate. The statute's very clear as to the order of distribution. You've got to make the finding that we are entitled to a distribution from that. The state made its case, saying the ex-Detroit mayor, who wasn't in court, should pay for his time behind bars. And the money should come from Kilpatrick's newly released book, Surrendered, The Rise, Fall, and Revelation of Kwame Kilpatrick. A court-ordered escrow account has already been set up to collect the profits to pay the $860,000 he still owes for his restitution. The judge agreed with the state, saying after that restitution is paid, the Department of Corrections is next in line. But Kilpatrick's attorney questions the constitutionality of the law and has already filed an appeal over the initial setup of the escrow account. If he earned $100 million from that book, he would not get a dime from it. The first 860000 would go towards restitution, the next $15,000 would go towards the cost of incarceration, the third would go to the, any civil judgments, and anything remaining would go to a fund called the Crime Victims Rights Fund. The judge will make a decision on that case by August 17th. As for Kilpatrick, who was released from prison last week, he is now with his wife and kids in Texas. But his attorney says we could soon see the ex-mayor back in Detroit. I, I don't want to commit to a date, but I, he will be back very soon. He wants to talk to the people of Detroit. From Wayne County Circuit Court, Smitha Kaloki, Channel 7, Action News.